Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my crew who I call my subbies and welcome if you are viewing me for the first time. I'm Desiree Marie and I do lock videos. I talk mostly about my locks. I've been locked for about two years now. So I show you guys the in and the outs of my lock journey. I show you guys as I wash style maintain my hair I give you guys an up close and personal look as to what my journey looks like I show you the good and the bad and the ugly so if you're interested in any of that definitely do hit the subscribe button and also stay tuned for weekly vlogs because I do some of that you know just to let you guys in on my life and let you guys um, get to know me on a personal level but anyway Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for clicking in. Today we are talking about locks. Yes, we are talking about locks, but specifically today, we are talking about the mistakes that many of us make while we're moisturizing our hair. I have found so many different key elements as to why our hair stays dry after moisturizing it, why, you know, right after we, we get out of the shower and put our oils in, why is it not sticking? Why does some people seem to have better hair um, as far as accepting oils than others? I got it all for you guys. All of these are reasons why you may be moisturizing your hair a little bit uh, on the wrong side and ways that you can fix that. So if you're interested in any of that, stay tuned. All right, so the first way you might be moisturizing the wrong way is not knowing your hair porosity. If you guys have been subscribed to me for some time, you have heard me preaching about hair porosity. And basically in a nutshell, hair porosity is your hair's ability to accept moisture. I've done a whole video on this, so if you have not seen that, definitely do check it out. But it's so important to know which hair porosity you have, whether you have high hair porosity, regular hair porosity or low hair porosity it matters so much so much so that based on the information that you receive for you know testing your hair porosity and knowing it you can then develop a good moisturizing routine so if you don't know your hair porosity you should definitely check it out i have another video that i showed you guys different ways that you can um, find out what hair porosity you have and how to go on you know towards building a better regimen knowing whether you have high regular or low hair porosity but it matters so much because so many of us are wondering why certain products don't, don't work for us why our hair gets too dry very quickly why it seems like our hair gets you know we moisturize it and then 10 seconds later it seems like we never even did anything to it it matters so much so definitely do know your hair porosity that's the first step into having a good moisturizing routine. The second way you might be moisturizing your hair wrong is by starting with a drying shampoo. And by a drying shampoo, I mean shampoos that have drying elements, drying ingredients, ingredients that do more harm than good. What you should probably try out if anything is a um, conditioning shampoo and if you guys watch some of my videos where I wash my hair on camera you know that I've stuck to this one shampoo that I really love and I certainly do recommend it and it's called the bro shampoo and this shampoo is loaded with power packed oils and natural ingredients but one of the best ingredient that it has is beer and beer is an ancient secret basically but the secret has been let out people used to add put beer into their hair and it used to really maintain moisture and cause for their hair to grow very well so um i highly uh, <laughs> i highly recommend the bro shampoo um and if not the bro shampoo you can try another shampoo that is conditioning that also conditions your hair while washing it because when you wash your hair for the most part a lot of shampoos strip your hair of all its natural oils and it leaves your hair high and dry definitely do check out the different um, things that you can purchase I have plenty of shampoos for you to try so check out the description box down below another way you might be moisturizing your hair wrong is by avoiding conditioner yes so many of us who have locks 
are so scared of conditioner and if you are using a drying shampoo and you're not using anything conditioning you need something to follow up on top of that not just oil but you need a conditioner something that will put back in the moisture that you're stripping out as you're washing it so if you're using a drying shampoo and you're not following up with a light a light conditioner a diluted conditioner you might be doing more wrong than good um, yeah because your hair needs that extra moisture back into it before you add any oils or anything else on top of your hair oils alone is not going to give you the moisturized um, feeling and it's not going to moisturize your strands alone you need something else to put in and the oil actually seals the deal as you you know moisturize your hair so we're gonna get into another point in, in as far as oils is concerned another way you might be moisturizing wrong and experiencing dry hair is not sealing your hair properly so yes after you wash your hair and you add in your light conditioner or you use a conditioning shampoo you might be rinsing your hair with hot water which is not healthy at all as far as after you wash your hair it's not it's actually not doing it's actually Oh, what's the word I'm looking for it's actually going against what you are trying to do it's very counterproductive because with the conditioning shampoo you're trying to put those moisturizing elements back into your hair after you wash and strip the hair of all you know the dirt and all that stuff you want to put the moisture back in but if it's not sealed you might be doing things the wrong way and expecting a, a positive result and wondering why your hair is dry so after washing your hair and putting the light conditioner or washing your hair with conditioning shampoo it's very important to seal it by rinsing your hair with cool water not hot water hot water does the same thing to hair as it does to your pores um, for for a long time I've been told to rinse my hair my face after I wash my face to rinse it with cool water because the cool water closes your pores same thing with the strands if you are rinsing your hair with hot water you're leaving your strands wide open and it's leaking moisture so it's doing the opposite of what you've been trying to produce uh, you know with the conditioning shampoo it's actually going against what you just did if that makes sense you know so if you are rinsing with hot water you're leaving your strands open but if you rinse with cool lukewarm water you are actually sealing the cuticle and therefore sealing the conditioner whatever you put into your hair to actually put back moisture into your hair after you washed it you are keeping all of that moisture into your hair which is going to benefit you in the long run so Rinse with cool water, lukewarm water, instead of hot water. Your hair will thank you later. Another way you might be moisturizing your hair wrong, and I see this a lot, and I, I've done it as well, and I've learned from it. And this is by putting oil only on your hair. For a lot of us, we think that, you know, having locks is very simple, very low maintenance. You really don't have to use a lot in your hair, but you do have to make sure to have to use conditioner or conditioning shampoo and then add in the oil because oil is only meant to really seal in whatever else you put into your hair. And if you're not sealing anything, you are actually going against what you're trying to do which is moisturize your hair so always make sure that you have something else in your hair whether it's a condition a, a, a leave-in conditioner or you're um, using conditioner in your hair after you wash it or something that actually um, conditions your hair and then you use the oil to seal it oil is a sealant it's not moisturizing it's just a sealant to protect the cuticle and keep all of what you did before into the hair which keeps it moisturized longer so um, a lot of us use only oils to moisturize our hair that is the wrong way and you might see that your hair dries out very fast if that is all that you're using straight after washing your hair so definitely do um, follow up with a leave-in conditioner um, and then put in oil another way we might be moisturizing the wrong way is by over moisturizing 
over moisturizing using every single product that we can possibly get our hands on every day your hair does not need to be moisturized every single day yes it could be spritzed um and yes you know every other day you moisturize it you make sure that it you know survey your hair touch your hair make sure that it's you know feeling healthy and all but you certainly don't need to overload it with oil every day that's an overload and that might do more damage because you're putting so much on your hair that your strands are heavy with all of the oils all of the products that you use every single day it's weighing heavy and it could lead to build up because you're using so many things on your hair in between washes so you might want to lessen the things that lessen the amount of products that you use on your hair and also try not to over moisturize by moisturizing every single day um, listen to your hair your hair will tell you and for the most part your hair will be okay with not being moisturized um, every single day listen to it for me um, personally and this is you know this is pr personal to everyone your hair might respond differently but for me I find that moisturizing my hair every other day works well and putting oils in my hair maybe twice a week works well for my hair it helps my hair to stay moisturized longer so that I don't have to keep following up with more products and more oils over time and the last thing that I want to share the last way we might be moisturizing our hair wrong is by avoiding the ends guys you guys know I'm sure you already know the ends are the most important part of your hair the ends are the oldest part of your hair um, and it's yeah it's the oldest part of your hair so don't avoid it because your ends matter so much if your ends are dry your hair snaps off your hair gets weakened and it breaks so you want to keep your length and maintain your length and still have nice growing locks by moisturizing the ends so that your ends will stay the course as your hair is growing out. Um, when you keep your ends dry, they snap off, they break easy, and then you end up with hair that doesn't look like it's growing because it's actually snapping at the ends. Um, so don't neglect the ends. The ends have been there for you. You know, it's the real MPV. It's been there for you, for you, for you since day one. So don't avoid that. Make sure you seal your ends and be good to your hair. All right, guys. So that's pretty much all that I have. Those are the ways that you might be moisturizing your hair the wrong way. Believe it or not, there are wrong ways to moisturize your hair so if you have any more comments that you want to add to this list definitely do let us know down below we would all love to le love to learn from you <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed this video share it with someone who needs it and thank you guys for watching if you're not subscribed definitely do hit the subscribe button um, check me out on Instagram it's Desiree Marie underscore and I'll see you in the next video later <laughs> bye